had muscle cars. And when he was a mechanic, all of these cars that are now antiques were uh, in style. That's what he was used to working on. And so uh, he put up that component, and uh, Robert Free uh, he had the housing, the clean and sober housing. Because I don't know if any of you know anyone that's ever been on parole. Hey. I know I do. <laughs> You know, you, you've got to have a plan. What are they going to do? Who's going to supervise them? How are they going to live? And, oh, it was a beautiful package. You know, Robert Free's family eats real good, you know. Uh, the people at El Centro, they're all good people. And so it was a beautiful plan, which the parole board used for toilet paper, you know. They just uh, didn't even consider the possibility. Um, I went to one of the appeal uh, hearings, and I testified. I was one of um, Leonard's character witnesses. And um, have, have any of you ever been to, like, a criminal trial? If you have, can you clap your hands? Okay. Um, what happens in a criminal trial if you're the victim or your family is the victim, they tell you, the judge instructs you, one tear, one groan, one fidget, and you're out of here, right? Isn't that what they tell you? Them FBI agents, by the way, there were 83 Indians murdered on that reservation the preceding year and not one conviction. Those two FBI agents represented hundreds of FBI agents that were back there, and they had no damn business there in the first place. But boy, did they investigate and manufacture all of their evidence. But I, when I was at that, um, when I was at that um, hearing, um, when I testified about the kind of a man that Leonard is, uh, at least Leonard was there, and, and you know, he, you know, uh, he knows how much we love him. Um, but when, uh, when, when I was speaking, those FBI agents' families were going, <clears throat> Sound like a bunch of snakes, and then uh, and then when uh, when they were talking, uh, they were crying big old tears. They had boxes of Kleenex, you know, just all damn drama that in any other court would have been thrown out. You know, I I just want you guys to know that. Those are the things we've been up against. You can see we're never giving up. We're never giving up. I'm never giving up. I know, I know Sue ain't giving up. No, I'm not. You know, so just stand with us, support Leonard, uh, join the fight to uh, get him free. I mean, even in, even in Africa, you know, Mandela served less time and came out as the president. You know, our guy, we can't even get him out to be a car repair guy. You know, it ain't right. It ain't fair. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Good. Well, he's certainly a citizen. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm okay. We'll, we'll see if I'm okay. Um, it is warm in this sun. Um, we're going to be having the drum come up here in a minute. Are you guys getting ready, or you're just ready with your coffee? And yay, hurrah! <laughs> I like what. Um, if you need to stretch or yawn or do something before we go on, please do. Um, with the old Northwest name off. Um, chapter that was here that Leonard was a part of, a lot of our brothers and sisters from then are, are now on the other side and they're watching us today. 
and I like that um, that they're watching us and try to give some good direction on how Northwest AIM is supposed to be. Uh, they were the old piranha group. You didn't always know who they were or what was going on. They went in, got the job done, got out. They didn't carry no cards. They didn't get to wear nothing that said whoopity ding. I mean, I had a little tattoo. <laughs> but uh, we didn't, get, you know, be front runners on a bunch of other things, but we were there wherever we were needed. Um, and I'm glad that some of the chapter is still alive. I'm going in for surgery pretty soon. We just lost another um, old member of our group, um, Elaine Fiddler, um, went on on Monday. Uh, she passed to the other side from, from cancer. I don't know if they just like infect us when we're at all these different rallies or they just love dumping weird icky stuff on our reservations or what. They're just falling around. Um, they are coming up here, I said. Are they ready? And are you coming up here? I'm introducing you and you're still... Thank you. Albert. <laughs> Albert Holmes and the guy. Or whatever. Um, and also the donation cans are going to be coming around at this time too. First of all, I want to say uh, thank you for each and every one of you coming here today. <clears throat> and now again, we want to... Uh, Asked if uh, Arthur and Steve and Ramona and Sue, Michael, if we're going to ask if you folks can stand here in the front of us here, I'm going to ask every hand drum they can come behind us. Where's Arthur at? Jimbo. I just want to say a few words. You know, I've uh, I've been following Steve and Sue and Arthur around for. Yeah, a bunch of years now, you know, and all through Indian country, you know, through different rallies and different events. <clears throat> yeah, even San Francisco, yeah. <clears throat> you know, but myself, you know, I want to light up these songs and these drums, you know, thanking you, you know, for all the things you've done for each and every one of us, the, the things you've done for, for Leonard, you know, and bringing this event, you know, every every year, you know, all the things you guys do in the in the back you know <clears throat> just want to thank you and lift you up in that way <clears throat> you know just a couple of the songs that we're going to sing you know is <clears throat> we're going to uh, lift you up that way what? <laughs> 